All right, we introduced this video by making a profound observation that ice floats on water. Here we have an ice cube floating in water, and you think, oh my goodness, I mean, what is, uh, you know, what's the deal with that? What's the big deal? Well, it's extremely unusual, actually, in nature for this type of thing to happen. You say, what type of thing? Well, we'll get back to it. Let's talk briefly about, why, about uh, the reason anything floats on anything else. Of course, the one thing has to be a liquid for something to float on it. But the reason something floats on something else is that it has to do with something called density, how compact something is, how packed in it is. And uh, for example, lead is more dense than a you know, bag of feathers. It's more dense, more compact. And, the, uh, and uh, there's a way of measuring it in mass per unit volume and so forth. We won't get into that. But density is, uh, is uh, how does that affect floating? Well, this way, less dense always floats on top of more dense. Less dense always floats on top of more dense. And so in your study guide, I have three examples. Uh, one of them is uh, oil and water. Which one's less dense? Well, if you have oil and vinegar dressing, and uh, you have to shake them up because they separate. Some on the table, they separate again into two liquid layers. Which one's on top, the oil or the water? Yeah, oil floats on water. And so, which one's less dense? Well, it's got to be the uh, oil. It's got to be less dense. So you might say, well, it doesn't feel like less dense. It doesn't matter what it feels like. Less dense always floats in more dense. When the oil tanker hits the, uh, hits the rocks, uh, the, the oil spills out and floats across the top of the water toward the beach. A very, uh, a very bad thing. And so, that's oil and water. Uh, how, about, uh, how about wood and water? If this was wood and that was water, is uh, wood floats, uh, and uh, I guess the wood is less dense too. Uh, and the last one has to do with what? Uh, cream and milk? Yeah, you milk a cow. I, uh, I've only milked a cow once at a county fair, and it takes a lot of practice, I figured out. But if you know what you're doing, you get a bucket of milk. After uh, a little while, things uh, separate out, and you've got two layers. What's the top layer? Cream. Cream rises to the top, so to speak, and then this milk. Which one is less dense? Well, uh, it has to be the cream, no matter, you know, even though it may not feel like it should be less dense, it is less dense. Less dense always floats on top of more dense. And so, uh, <clears throat> how come uh, when you buy milk at the grocery store it doesn't separate out? A process called what? Homogenization, yeah. And so, uh, it's, uh, the cream's in there, but it's been somehow mixed up so it doesn't separate. Well, unless you have skim milk, there's no cream. And uh, um, if you buy 2% milk, how much of the cream has been taken off? Half of it, because all of it's 4%. 4% of the whole thing is cream. If you leave it to yourself, 2% half has been taken off, and so forth. How long has milk been homogenized? Did I have homogenized milk at my table, breakfast table, when I was a kid in the 1950s? No, I did not. I think they started probably about 1960. See, I lived in the olden days. All right. So, um, so these are all examples of less dense floating on more dense. Let's come back to water and see what's unusual. Every example we talked about were about two different things: wood on water, wood's different from water, oil's different from water, etc. These are the same things, though, right? Water's H2O, liquid H2O, ice is solid H2O. And, uh, and so let's think about gases, liquids, and solids. Uh, yeah, to get a substance to go from a gas to a liquid to a solid, you've got to cool it off. And normally, do you think as you cool things from a gas to a liquid to a solid, I kind of gave away my, I'm kind of pulling for a certain answer. What do you assume the molecules are doing? Gas, liquid, solid, do you think the molecules are getting close together? This is molecules normally as you go from uh, gas gas to uh, liquid to solid, the molecules are getting closer together. And so uh, the liquid is more dense than the gas, the solid is more dense than the liquid. Normally, is that the way it works with water? I guess not. I guess not because uh, ice is what? It's less dense. 
that's the solid is less dense than the liquid and so uh, water must do this uh, gas to liquid and then back out to solid something sort of resembling this gas liquid and then somehow as it becomes a solid the molecules are pushed farther apart and there's an explanation of that in your book um, that you can read uh, we don't exactly need to know why that happens for our purposes but that's very unusual there's only one other thing that, that happens to and that's not a common substance it's ammonia uh, and so what's the unusual thing uh, we'll just forget the ammonia and just pretend it doesn't you know we won't worry about that we'll just say water is the only substance the only substance H2O is the only substance only substance less dense as a solid than as a liquid and that is really weird compared to everything else except for one weird thing called ammonia nothing else does this less dense as a solid than as a liquid consequences for life on earth you betcha where does the uh, ice form in the lake it forms on the top you take that for granted but it's very unusual nothing else would do it like that and uh, how important is that for life on earth well during the cold winter where is it harsher above the ice or below the ice well it's much harsher above the ice the ice I used to live in that part of the world uh, up in the Northeast United States and uh, the uh, little critters uh, below the ice uh, they hibernate or something and uh, they get through the winter just fine protected by that that layer of ice across the top uh, it's helpful for the ice skating industry as well that the ice forms on the top and that water has this unusual property okay thank you